<clears throat> All right, well, let me turn on a little light here. Just make myself a little bit lighter. Can use some light. I think that's a little bit better. I need to move my lights. This is your tutorial for the foundations class. This is tutorial number two. And as an intro, let me share that I was in the school business for 40 years with elementary students and middle school students. And I was not a fan of educational, oh, uh, whatever, theories, philosophies, this, that. All I knew was to make it as interesting as possible and to be an interesting person if I could be. <laughs> However, the one thing that I did learn from brain research that I treasured is contrary to um, sort of like what's happening in classrooms now, well, it depends. I, I'm getting, wait a minute, I'm, I'm wandering. One thing I learned is that in order to internalize knowledge, it, repetition is necessary. When we first learn something, it goes to the forebrain, goes to the frontal lobes of your brain. As we practice or redo or whatever, however we want to, to term it, that is when it moves to the lateral part of the brain where knowledge is actually stored. So this points to the fact that in order to internalize Tai Chi muscle memory or to develop muscle memory, we need to repeat, repeat, repeat as often as we possibly can. So if you treasure it and if you want to actually retain it, and to be able to do it when you go to on your vacation and you're on the beach in uh, the south of France, or you're on the beach in Izmir in Turkey or, or somewhere on the Mediterranean coast and you feel the air and you smell the wonderful, you feel at one with nature with all of the aromas and so on and so forth. You want to do a little Tai Chi and become, integrate yourself into that. That's what it's about. As far as I'm concerned, that's, that's my point of view. So when we're moving quietly, and are, we allow the thinking brain to chatter away without engaging with it, and we engage with the part of our consciousness that is the, it's like the difference between the waves on the top of the ocean and the calm moving part underneath that isn't disturbed by all of the thoughts like this. And then we can integrate ourselves into nature. And it doesn't have to be in the south of France. It doesn't have to be in, in uh, Rio or wherever we are in New Zealand. Right here, right now, right here in my little space here or my backyard or out in the park, whatever. Okay, so just to review here in the beginning, right? I'm gonna do this left-handed so you do it right-handed. Just mirror what I'm doing. Up, down, step back, left leg, point with your right arm, hand forward, and left to the side. Press forward, carry the ball, disengage, left leg and step out, spread the silk brocade, right hand palm up, left hand palm down, close the gate, right arm passes in front of the body, lift right leg and step into your bow and arrow. Grasp the bird stand, yield, touch, press forward left and right together. Roll back. Push with two palms. Now, instead of turning, here's one way we can practice to do the single whip, it's like this, right into the screen. Step forward and single whip. 
and then over to the side, standing on left leg to play the lute, and up, and back. Crane spreads its wings. One, two, brush knee, push palm, Forward, play the lute. We're only gonna do one brush knee push palm because I don't have that much space. We do three, right here we would do three. And then we would do another playing the lute. And one more brush knee push palm. So we do five all together in the first section. And now I can step backward so that I can practice like this. Step backward and keep moving. Step backward. And I can take one more step. And climb the mountain. Down to the jade table. Step back on the left leg and scholar points the way. Pour your weight forward into your right bending leg. Lift left leg and step out. Spread the silk brocade. Close the gate. Step forward right leg and grasp the bird's tail. You see my center line? You see the space between my left leg, my right leg, the left side of my body, the right side of my body. The width of the highway line, maybe a double highway line here. Now we're going to do the single whip this way. Right arm back. Pivot. Step through. Left arm forward. And over to the side, standing on left leg to play the lute. And right arm down, left arm up. Step back on right bending leg. And right arm up, left arm down and continue. Remember the walnut, like cracking the walnut with the blade of your hand. Here, here. Brush knee push ball. Number one, play the lute. Then we would do three more, but I'm only going to do one. And play the lute. So that would be four. And then I'm going to do one more and stop there. That would be five. I'm going to step back. And this time we're going to go to the side. All right, I'm gonna go over here a little bit further. All right, we keep moving. I'm doing it left-handed. You mirror what I'm doing. Scholar points the way. Fast forward to carry the ball. Step out, left leg. Close the gate, right arm passing in front of the body. Step forward, left leg. I mean, right leg, excuse me. Release, overturn, right hand palm down, left hand palm up, touch, middle finger to wrist. Press forward, left and right together. Wipe off. Yield. Push with two palms. Now we're going to turn and do the single whip the way, the modified way I've shown you, like this. Fingers down on the right hand, fingers up on the left hand, step over and make a center line. And now play the lute over to the corner, standing on left leg. And crane opens its wings, step back on 
right bending leg and right arm up, left arm down the chest. Crane fluffing its wings. Brush knee push palm. Play the loop. And brush knee push palm. One. Yeah. Step through left handed brush knee push palm. Two. And the yield, you're moving slowly, aware. Three, follow step and play the Follow step is like a grace note in music. And brush knee push -pull. Turn, and here's something we can do, which is, comes later on. It's called hands waving like clouds. It's a side step. Let's follow along. And I'm going back to my original position so that we can repeat and keep moving. Pause. That is our goal, is to keep moving for 15 or 20 minutes. This video won't be that long, but you can repeat the video, replay it. Carry the ball. Step out, spread the soap brocade. Feel the power from your right heel up through your body into your left hand. Oh, wow. And grasp the bird's tail. Check to be sure that you have your center line. Don't make it too narrow and don't make it too wide. Young style is called the middle way. Chen style has a wider stance. Wu style has a more narrow stance. We are young style practitioners. Fingers down on right hand, fingers up on left. Step over your center line and single whip. And push off with your leg and play the loop. Touch with your toe, touch with your right toe. Step back onto right bending leg and right arm up, left arm down and keep moving. Keep moving. Brush knee, push palm. Every time we do a brush knee, push palm, feel from your heel of the rear leg, in this case, your right leg, feel power up your leg spine, out through the palm of your hand, travels from the heel, from the bottom of the foot. The heel represents the bottom of the foot. Up. And one more. And one more. I'm going to go back. Now, this time I'm going to turn around as though we were outside, you're in the class, 
Hands climb the mountain, down to the jade table, scholar points. Press forward and carry the ball. You follow right along. So we were right there in the room. Step forward, right leg. Grasp the bird's tail. Looking in the palm of the right hand. Release. Overturn. Right hand, palm down. Left hand, palm up. Touch. Rotate the palm a little bit and then press out left and right together. Wipe off. Roll back, push with two palms. Another thing that can, now we're gonna turn to single whip. Another thing that can help is to watch the video a little bit before you practice. Right hand fingers down, left hand fingers up, over to the corner to play the lead. And Left arm up, right arm down. Right arm up, left arm down. I might have given the wrong prompt when I was doing it left-handed. Well, you'll figure it out. Brush knee, push ball. First brush knee, push ball. Play the lead. You're mirroring, mirroring, exactly what I'm doing, I hope. Push, play the loop. And one more brush knee, push ball. And cloud hands. So with the last time here. Step right, step left. Right arm up, step right leg, step left, left arm up, step right leg, step left, one more, short. Up the mountain, down to the jade table. Scholar points the way, press forward to carry the ball. Spread the silk brocade, close the gate. Lift right leg and grasp the bird's tail. Release, roll back and touch. Press forward left and right together. Wipe off, left over the top of right. Roll back. Push with two palms. Pivot, pivot your right foot. Palms up. And then left fingers to the sky, right fingers to the earth. Single whip. Check your center line. Push off with your right leg and come to the corner to play the loop. And left arm up, right arm down. Step back, right arm up, left arm down. And strike and brush and reach back and brush knee, push palm, mind your center line. There you go. Play the lute standing on right leg. Pull your left leg into alignment with your right when you're standing on one leg. Then when you step out, make your center line. One. And. Step through. Two. And. 
Step through. Three. So that's four all together. And then we do one more. And turn. Breathe in. And breathe out. So next week when we meet, there's one more section to add to this and we will have completed the whole first section, which is what our goal is for this particular session of Foundations of Tai Chi. And we're on our way. Practice, please.